Alright, so in this video we're going to be looking at web scraping with JavaScript. Now there are a few different libraries you can use to do this, one of which is uh, pretty common is Puppeteer here. Um, we can see Puppeteer is a node library which prov provides a high level API to control Chrome and Chromium. So basically you can do everything you could do with Chrome through Puppeteer. So that's a pretty uh, common one you'll see around. But one I came across was called Nightmare.js here. And I thought it was pretty neat. It has kind of a jQuery-esque syntax. And it's a similar thing. So as you can see in this uh, example here, uh, you can go to the, uh, the URL. You can type in something. And then uh, you can click buttons and whatnot. And we can see how this just simplifies things a lot compared to uh, if you were using PhantomJS or something uh, like this. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video. Um, so uh, let's get started, I guess. So let's uh, first go over to our terminal. And I've CD'd already into my desktop, so save this somewhere you like. And we're going to uh, make a directory. So uh, make dir, and we're just going to call this, uh, what are we, a scrape. And we're going to hit enter, and then we're going to CD into that. And we're going to open this up in VS Code, like always. So once again, you can use whatever you want for this. And we can get rid of this. We're going to use the integrated terminal. Let's open this up a bit. Make this a little bit bigger and open up our integrated terminal. And once we're in here, we're just going to uh, create a package.json. So you can do that by going uh, npm init. And we're just going to go dash y to skip all those other questions and there's our package.json now we're gonna need a few things um, that we're we're gonna want to download here so we're gonna go npm install and we're gonna go nightmare and the other thing we're gonna want is just nodemon so we don't have to keep uh, refreshing so we'll let that download real quick All right, so once that's uh, downloaded and we're all good, let's come into our file here and we're just gonna uh, run something. Um, we're gonna create a file called scrape.js and that's where we'll run all of our code. So basically that's all the setup we need. So once we're in here, well, we're gonna do some basic stuff first. So let's try um, out a few things. So first we're gonna require it, so const uh, nightmare equals require nightmare. And that'll require in nightmare and then we're just gonna call it right away, run that function. And the, we're gonna set things up, so we're gonna go async. Uh, we're gonna create an asynchronous function and we're gonna call this scrape and let's run a few things. So the first thing I guess we wanna do is we're gonna scrape amazon.com. Uh, so let's go over to here and see what we're looking at here. So we got Amazon up here and see I got the greens powder down here. That's what we're gonna look at here. So let's type into uh, the search bar here, greens powder. And we're gonna get healthy here. And looking here, we got some items. And we can look at the editorial recommendations. So that's what we wanna get, the best overall. So that's what we're gonna to try to scrape here. So let's start with um, just trying to get this title here from this one. So we're gonna get the URL, we're gonna copy it over, and then let's head back over to our VS Code. Uh, so we can go const title equals await and here we call nightmare dot go to and this is where we can toss in our uh, our function here okay so that looks good and that should get that page for us and then we want to call a dot wait which will wait for the item to to show up now what do we want to wait for 
So that's what we gotta figure out here. So let's go back over and we can select and inspect this over here. So we're hovering over here and you can see in here, so we wanna get by the class name here, which is uh, a dash size base plus. So let's try and get it by that. Uh, so we can copy that over, let's come back here to our VS code and let's just save this real quick because it'll reformat for us. So what we want to wait for is, we don't need all this, we can just go uh, a size uh, base plus and that will wait until this item, uh, and that actually has to be a dot here because that's a class name. So that's what we're looking for and once that has loaded to the screen, um, then we'll continue. So then we want to call dot evaluate and we're gonna run a function in here and we're gonna go uh, document dot query selector and that's gonna be dot and we're gonna go the same thing so a dash size base plus okay and then from there we're trying to get the title so we want to get a dot inner text from that and then once we're uh, finished with this we just want to call end there so let's save that uh, come down here and let's just console let's just log this stuff to the console so console.log uh, and we call that what title right yeah and then at the very bottom uh, we want to actually call the function and we called it scrape and we'll call that with the parentheses there. Okay, so unless I got some typos there, that should work. One other thing we wanna do is um, get Nodemon in here. So come in to your package.json where you got test and we're gonna change this to dev and we are just gonna change this to uh, Nodemon and scrape.js. So that was just continuously uh, run that instead of having to write it every time. So save that and then that commands uh, dev so npm run dev and starts up nodemon. Now this will take a second for this to um, go because it actually does go to the uh, actual site and run it so it does take a minute but as you can see here we're logging See if I can bump this up a little bit here. Uh, you can see we've actually logged the title of that, so that worked great. All right, so why don't we go ahead and add a few other things. So instead of going to the actual um, uh, web, the direct website here, can we just go to the Amazon ho homepage and type in our requests and then get that from there? So we're gonna change this to amazon.com. So we're just gonna to go to the main page and then we're gonna come in here and we're gonna go and change a couple things here. So if we're back in Amazon here, let's see. We wanna be able to come to the main page um, and without having to do this here, we wanna do this from uh, our app. So we wanna be able to type in greens powder, that sort of thing. and have that run all within the app. So let's take a look at how we might be able to do that within the actual app. So we're just gonna go to amazon.com and then from there, we, there's a function called dot type. So that'll literally type into the search field and we are gonna wanna find, well, let's look at what we need to find here. Uh, so let's go here and go back to the Amazon main page and we want to select this element here so let's inspect it and if we come over here we can see it's an input of type text okay so that's what we're going to be looking for so let's go uh, type and we're going to have quotes here and we will go uh, 
input and brackets type equals text and I think that's good and then we want to pass in as the second argument on this we want to pass in the term uh, that we're looking to search so for us that's greens powder okay and then from there we want to do a dot click which will be the actual button that we want to click on and again let's go back and find what that button would be so that is I don't know if you can see that here uh, let's bring it up here so that's this button here so let's inspect that element okay so it's an input to with a type of submit so that's what we're looking for here on the click input and we're gonna go type equals and submit and I think that should be it for that and then the rest we should be able to get the same stuff because we still are gonna get this um, same class name that we're looking for and same query selector and the inner text because we're still gonna be getting hopefully the uh, title of it so let's save that that'll reformat for us nice I'll scroll down here again this might take even a little longer because now we're searching the thing and again as you can see here pump this up a little bit we got the greens powder name title whatever of that one we were looking for so great okay so that's cool for the title now let's uh, check out some other stuff that we might be able to get uh, we'll try to get let's maybe try to get the um, maybe the price so again we're gonna do the same thing here come over here uh, we can just do this again let's see search that up come here we're looking for this one so we want to get this $25.99 price uh, so again inspect it so we can get the whole which is here and that's gonna be 25 oh and then they do the decimal too with the fraction 99 so we'll just get the whole price for now anyways and uh, yeah that'll work so we're gonna do the same thing click submit and then here we're just gonna go uh, price dash hole and then we're gonna wait for that to be on screen and then we can do the same thing here a dash price dash hole and let's get the inner text there too and see how that works out okay man we can see here bump that up again we got 25 which again is the uh, price that or the whole price without the fraction um, that we're seeing that we see here okay so that's good and maybe lastly let's get the link associated with it so there's um, a selector we can get the href which will be good but then we're gonna need something different for the whole so let's go back over to the amazon.com and we're trying to get the link associated with this so that should be uh, let's see h2 a size mini okay and then the link normal so we're gonna want both of these here so h2 a size mini and then a link I think that should get it for us hopefully let's go see so we're going to change this here to um, and then we're gonna go uh, a dash size dash mini and then it was dot a dash link dash normal and then we're gonna get the href from that hopefully we'll see okay save that I'll reformat for us 
and then give us a second as we wait. Okay, and then it looks like it's getting a link here, but that doesn't seem like our link. What happens if we get rid of the H2? Okay, this looks like the right one anyways. Okay, so if we bump that up, looks like we had the wrong selector here, but this looks like the superfood powder one we want. So uh, hopefully that's a little intro to web scraping using Nightmare. Again, there's some other options, Puppeteer, and um, someone, something called uh, Cheerio also is used quite a bit. Uh, but hopefully this can kind of get you started, get you going on web scraping. There's some cool stuff you can do, as you can see. So, uh, yeah, if you like the video, go ahead and subscribe or give it a like if you feel like it. And uh, until the next one, thanks for watching.